Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and people of the internet? It's Bossy here, bringing you guys another YouTube video back onto my channel. Today, for you guys, I'm gonna be doing another edition of Story Time is Fun Time, where I talk about things that have happened to me in the past, or things I've done in the past for your entertainment and story time form. And today, for you guys, I'm gonna be talking about the time a crackhead tried to steal my phone. Now, this isn't your usual mugging or you know usual jacking. This is actually something that happened during work, which is really weird because who the fuck would even try to steal something from someone who's at work but um yeah there's it's just gonna be a short little funny story that i thought was entertaining because you know after all the weird people and annoying ass people that i meet uh working at cold stone you know just a basic ice cream parlor where everybody comes you know friends family uh teenagers in general and also you know people going on dates you know you sometimes stumble upon some interesting characters that you hopefully never see ever in your life now these characters range from like you know the douchebag customers I serve, um, some fucking uh, you know ladies with bad attitudes that then say that you have a bad attitude. You know it just it, you just meet a lot of different people there, and then sometimes you meet people that are decent and sometimes you don't. So now in today's story, I was this is like kind of one of those things that you meet an interesting character, but uh, he never came back. So the way the story plays out is that one day it was actually a weekday. Uh, I was uh, scheduled into work and um, I was just chilling in line or well, not in line but on the line and you know just sitting there nobody was walking in or anything and uh, it's been what like a couple of hours since we had like no customers like this was one of the slowest days ever but since I was one of the only people there then they didn't send me home so I was just simply just standing there minding my own business uh, taste testing every single ice cream like usual I take like probably like around like five scoops of every single like ice cream and you know do a quote unquote taste test you know i gotta i gotta check if the ice cream is poisoned or not because you know you don't know if someone poisoned them so i'm basically risking my life for you guys and i'm you know you guys you guys don't have to thank me don't worry about it i'm, I'm risking my life for my own good i mean your own good don't worry i'm willing to take one for the team so um usually i just do that and then i see this random dude just walk by the window and just like kind of look a little bit sketchy um he was scratching his face scratching all over his body and just like made dead eye on eye contact with me then would look away then would look at me again and then look away and then he would look pretend to like he was looking at the at the uh menu and then he would look down straight at me and then he would look away so this guy was just a little bit creepy and i was just like all right maybe he's just uh Maybe he's just uh, hungry for, you know, ice cream with the sight of human, you know, I, I don't know, you know, I don't judge, you know, if you eat humans, that's you, you do you, bro. So I just, you know, ignored him and he just kept on standing there just staring like dead eyes just like on me and I was just standing there like, all right, um, what the fuck do I do? I can't really go to the back because if a real customer walks in, then I got to stay here and then, you know, serve them ice cream. So I just stood there and accepted his stare and I just wondered what the fuck was going on. So then he started slowly moving away from the window towards our door, and he walked in slowly, scratching his face at all over, still scratching all over his body, kind of looking like he tweaked, and he was tweaking it, and then he just kept on looking around, walking around, uh, looked at the menu, then walked around, then looked at the menu, then walked around, then looked at the menu, and then walked around, and then finally he came up to me, um, and then just stared a little bit more, and then after, you know, probably like around 10 minutes of staring, he just, you know, opened his mouth and went, hey man, can I use your phone? And I was just like, why do you need my phone? And he's just like, because I need to go ask my my uh, my, 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 my son, my son, my son, my son, um, if he needs uh, if he what what ice cream he wants. I'm not even kidding. That's literally how he was talking. I mean, it was like, it was just really weird. And I was just standing there like, I can't give you my phone because that's against our policy of me giving the customers my you know objects and stuff like that so I can you know maybe wait for you to come back with your son and while my dog just barked you know so basically this is commentary featuring my dog oh god here we go so I'm just gonna try and continue with my dog barking in the background and this just yeah you're gonna probably hear a lot about my dog there's probably someone walking by the window right now I'm gonna just pause this and then continue when he shuts up. Alright, so it seems like my dog decided to shut up finally. So, this guy was just straight acting weird, and I asked him if he wanted to use the store phone instead, because I'd rather him steal the store phone than my phone, because, you know, the store phone's like 25 bucks, and then mine is an iPhone 6S, so, you know, I, I kind of want to take the store's phone, and you know, into sacrifice and, instead of mine. So, um, he was just like, no, 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 I want to use your phone, I want to use your phone. I was just like why do you need me to use my phone he's just like to call my son just like why can't you use the store phone he's just like the store phone won't work 
yeah, it really will, as long as you're calling locally. So here you go. And I just like slowly hand him the store phone. And he's just like still like acting weird. And he's just like, no, 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 no. I want to use your phone. So I told him no, uh, like it's against policy. And I don't feel like risking my job for him. And he got really upset with it and stormed off and um, then never came back. So um, after that, then I actually saw him walk storm past the window a, a little bit like probably 30 minutes later. And after that, I never saw him again, and um, I'm pretty sure he's probably like dead in an alley or probably like sparking up in a in behind a dumpster doing some heroin or some shit like that or meth or crack. You know, I don't judge. So basically, that's the time where a crackhead tried to steal my phone. So there's that, and it's a short little story about you know just the weird people that I meet. And I hope you guys did enjoy today's story. If you guys did enjoy, it, please drop a like and a buddy on. And if you're not subscribed now, please click that subscribe button for more enjoyable, pleasing content. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.